S H A W N G A L L E T T. Did anyone else notice how horribly sunburned the butcher was? That's what you noticed. Maybe he him? lived around here. Except for like the, the small of his back. Because it's hot. The only thing I could notice about the butcher is this glorious mustache of his. They will erect Excuse statues me? in this his in the low name back. Of this mustache. Not his not his, his lower abdomen. His, must, his mustache brand. The fans chanted, "We want ass." Well, I think it was "We want daddy." So they gave them. I'm not sure it's any better ass. actually. <laughs> and uh, you know, that's what the people wanted. There's so many drops for the show. Yes. See, a drop is supposed to be when you say something that's not supposed to be funny, and then people make it funny. Not when you're just flat out talking about an erect guy. And You're wrong, Brian. You can make a drop out of anything, literally. Did anyone else notice how naked the butcher was? Because it's hot. An erect guy running around naked because it's hot. It was long. It's like Armadillo's skeet shirt. shooting. They're like Frisbees. Really? But they're much oh. harder to catch. I mean, it was pretty wild. Yeah. Let me tell you. The only thing I could notice about the butcher is this glorious... Hot dog? His. They will erect... Excuse statues in this ass we want daddy we want ass so they gave them ass daddy who was holding the hot dog and then he goes boom hits him with the ass but he's so big you boot porky and he goes there's more to come there's so many drops for the show that's what the people wanted limerick about vincent mcmahon's new look okay that's not a limerick uh, i'm not reading that one matt that's a grounds for a lawsuit there once was a carney named vince who loved money from the saudi prince he was gone for a dash, but returned with a stash, and the show has been worse ever since. That's a good one. Ah, I will click like. I like, I like that, that one. Vince McMahon has returned, and it's a fact. The decision was made without a lot of tact. He did not come alone into power. He brought a ridiculous mustache that amuses Great Fowler. <laughs> He is only missing the lap cat. That just fell progressively with each line. Excellent bad poetry. God. That is outstanding. Batista starts the attack, throws Edge out of the ring, bangs against the barricade. He is a pounder, pounder <laughs> player. Yeah, he is. Playing, <laughs> he is a pounder playing rough. He is a pounder <laughs> playing rough. That's the exact word you said. Jerry kept pounding and he's playing rough. I suppose yeah. so. <laughs> Story checks out. It is time for our big announcement. Beginning the third week of June, I have decided we are going to do 21 years ago in TNA. Um, no. You know what that means? Wait. No. Yes. No, wait. It has been announced live. We can't Wait. go back now. You know how angry people would be if you tried to get out of this? This is not what we agreed to. Oh, it's too bad. We're going back to the weekly pay-per-views. We're going back to the asylum, Vinny. Oh, Christ. We're going back to the dicks. We're going back to the dup cup. Vince Russo booking. It's called Impact Plus. It would be appropriate if they called it Impact Minus. Oh, oh Vinny. Oh, my God. Why is everyone have to be so sad? This is exciting. Thanks, I'm not Vinny. sad. I'm angry. A weird-ass show. This is like that one time in Impact where Russo wrote two episodes for one, one week. And instead of canceling one, they just did two episodes in two hours. Pants are being torn. Karen Jarrett is there. I have decided that uh, the only way this feud can finish and cap off their storyline and ours is that Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal need to win the tag team championships at the pay-per-view after Dixie Carter debuts and interferes. Tony Khan has a major announcement. He's on Cameo. No, I kid. I kid. Uh, Collision is a new show. Premiering Saturday, June 17th on TNT. Outside of Jack losing, is there a plausible way that they could have made him look worse in this match? The impression I was given was the idea here was we were supposed to see what a tough guy Jungle Boy was. That failed. MJF is doing promos talking about how he's miles beyond these three pillars. You need to do everything in your power to get all three of these guys over. Jungle Boy needs all. All the help he can get. He got none of that in this match. I watched it and I thought, you know what? This is the most unprofessional match. He is not working a match to get Jungle Boy over. He's working a match to get himself over. I actually thought he may have gone into business for himself here. Jungle Boy is sitting in a corner and he has the same look on his fucking face that I had. Which was the look of a guy that was like, fuck me. I just got fucking killed. Yeah. Like a geek. Whatever the idea was, it absolutely did not work at all. If you're a fan of long-term storytelling and details, they do the pose with the same camera angle and the same setup where it's the Bucks and Kenny standing in a line in the back of the ring. 
and Hangman standing alone in the front of the ring. Wednesday was supposed to be such a big day. It was supposed to be the day that they announced their brand new show on Saturday night. Now they've got their version of SmackDown. They've got Dynamite on Wednesday. They got two more hours live on Saturday night, all overshadowed by CM Punk. Rage Instagramming all afternoon. How is it possible that the straight edge guy is the weirdest dude in all of wrestling? Weirder, in fact, than all the addicts and alcoholics. So Dempsey, who is a different looking guy, has a very curly hair, crowd is chanting Willy Wonka at him. Is it supposed to be an insult? Willy Wonka was kind of a badass. Danny Palmer is laid out by a mystery opponent. And you can tell the referee is very upset by this because he's shouting, quote, Hey, what are you doing? Knock it off. <laughs> the creeds are at the perfect level right now. They cannot get any better. If they get any better, they're going to kill the gimmick because they have something. But part of what they have is being green and wild. They're wild and young. That's what they are. They actually are literally wild and young. In case you did not know, her name was Miss Jackson. Noam helpfully identified her saying, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson, but I'm for real. <laughs> There's a lot of characters on this show, okay? But that's different than being a fucking character. Right. And this guy is a character, is what he is. Yabadaba Kato cuts a good promo. He ended Apollo Crews. Dude, no more, no more. Respect this man. Dabakato? This Dabakato. That's the only way I can remember his name. Axiom says he's the biggest mountain in all of NXT, but the view from the top of mountains can be breathtaking. And strokes his chin in thought. This was a uh, shot at Darby Allen, this mountain climbing little guy. I guess so. Huh? Yeah. There's some woman talking to Von Wagner. Well, this was the unnamed woman who was hanging out with the unnamed man okay. last week. There was a point here where she said to Vaughn, I'm so sorry for what I said to you. <laughs> I watched it like eight times, <laughs> and I'm no closer to knowing his name. Huh. Dijak continues to torture Dragunov. We see grimacing faces and sweaty bodies and grunts and groans, and Dragunov says he is still standing. That's how it went. Fucking creepy. I don't care about this feud. I, I cared last week when we had a big brawl and Carmella went for a move and Braun fucking cut him in half. Yeah. Like, that was the best build to the paper they possibly could have done. I was so much more into the match when that was over than before it began. Then we had this, which was 10 minutes of talking. I didn't like this show. It was a bad show. Uh, uh, AEW wins this week. Hopefully they'll improve next week. <laughs>